What is up, nerds? This video is so long overdue. Uh, I've had a lot of you guys asking me what I've been up to, why I haven't been cranking out videos like I used to, what am I working on? It's It's been very secretive. So this video is just kind of a quick update with a lot of really, really important information, so just get through it, I promise. There's a lot of cool stuff. Right off the bat, I know tutorials. That is the obvious thing. Um, I suck, <laughs> and I'm sorry. Um, a lot of you guys want my tutorials, and I have not been cranking them out nearly as fast as I wanted to, or nearly as fast as I was. Uh, I think I've done one in the past year, which, that is terrible. I am a terrible person, and I am sorry. Um, first and foremost, I actually got a job promotion at my boring real-life job that I, I do, my uh, my weekly day-to-day -day job. Um, a lot of you guys probably know I work in produce. Uh, I've been doing it for eight years at a grocery store. Um, it's a really laid-back job. It's always had really nice early hours. It let me have a lot of free time to do mapping and videos and all that stuff. Um, while still working full time with benefits and all that fun stuff. Um, but I'm actually the manager of that produce department now. And that it means an increased hours um, and a little less time than I used to have. Now there are a lot earlier hours, <laughs> so I've been really exhausted lately. I'm, I'm, we're going into work at like 5 a.m. every day. Uh, I get out pretty early in the day, but I'm exhausted. I'm dead. Um, the other thing that has been taking up a significant amount of time is I actually got a second job. After probably six years of doing level design for TF2, uh, I actually just got hired to work on an indie game. I'm working for a guy named Joe Wintergreen, aka La Cabra. Some of you guys might know this if you follow me on uh, Penny Arcade and places like that. You might have heard this name before. Um, he has a company called Impromptu Games. Uh, you might have heard his name even from the time he flew Gabe Newell to his place in Australia um, to check out his Left 4 Dead mod. That's the guy that I'm working for. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description if you, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, we're working on a stealth game. I'll put a little bit of gameplay. It's like really rough, you know, just running around some stuff that I've been doing and some of the, the test stuff that we have together. Uh, but it's like a stealth-based game. Uh, sneaky, stealing, uh, not a whole lot of crazy combat, but a lot of really fun places to explore and, you know, missions to steal things. And it's, it's, it's a really cool concept. Um, I don't want to say too much about it too early, but... I want to start making videos showing that off as I get further along into it. It's really early on still. Uh, I have a lot to go. <laughs> I'm learning a whole new engine for this. Uh, we're working with Unreal Engine 4. But the really cool thing is that we're actually using a program called Hammerer, which I think that's how that's pronounced, that allows me to work in Hammer and import it into Unreal 4. And I'm sure there's people going, why the hell would you ever do that? Um, there's a video that explains uh, the flow of level design and game development tools that will explain it better than I ever could. So check the description for a link for that too. Um, basically, it's taking the best of Hammer and the best of Unreal 4. Um, the quick iteration, the all the, the, the quickness and the, the rapid turnaround of Hammer and putting it into Unreal 4. Um, but check that video out. It's a really, really good watch. I highly recommend it. I've, I've probably plugged it before, but go, go check it out. And some of the other level designers I'm working with is there's a guy named Trashbang, who's a longtime Source Engine uh, level developer. Uh, he's got a bunch of CSGO maps that are, look really cool. Um, you can check the description below for links for those. Um, he also runs the .bsp Twitter account, if you've seen that. It's really cool, just like showing old uh, BSP maps, <laughs> basically. And then the other level designer that I'm working with is somebody that you're probably familiar with being, you know, into TF2. Um, his name is Scorpio Uprising. He's the creator of Process, Stand-In... Uh, Metalworks and a whole bunch of others. You know, I'm, I'm stoked to get to work with this guy. And then the, the, on the team is just a bunch of really crazy talented people. I'm, I'm super proud of the fact that I got brought onto this project because there is just an absurd amount of talent on the team. And every day I go in and we like we have our, our Slack group that I check out what they've been doing and the writer and the, the artist and like everything they're doing is so cool and it's really exciting to get to work on creating something new, um, which will definitely get plugged a ton as it gets further developed on this site. And I really want you guys to be excited for it because I'm very excited about it. But moving on past that, um, I obviously have a lot of maps, TF2 stuff. I'm not quitting TF2. Let me, let me phrase that very specifically. I'm not quitting mapping for TF2. I am just putting it on the back burner for a little while. Um, I've spent a lot of my time doing it. I've got about 3,000 hours doing uh, level design work specifically for TF2 with another 3,000 something uh, <laughs> playing it. So I put a lot of time into TF2. I'm not leaving it. I definitely enjoy it. Uh, I'm just taking a little bit of a break and taking a step back to focus on something else um, that is, you know, career making. Uh, I didn't really plan on getting into level design 
as a career. I was just doing it for fun, and then I kind of went, oh, hey, I can make some videos about it and show you guys some cool stuff that I'm doing, and hey, I can teach more people how to do it, and uh, oh, hey, Valve likes my stuff and wanted to buy it, and then all of a sudden I have a portfolio worth of stuff that I'm like, oh, hey, this person's looking for level designers. Here, look at my dumb stuff that I've made. I, like, plug train saw laser in it. It was ridiculous. And actually, the start of the resume, so to speak, the email that I sent to the lead on this project, uh, it, it included this track right at the beginning. I am Crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna make it the maps. What, 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 what? Which kind of tells you how serious I was taking it. I was just like messing around like, yeah, maybe I'll get, you know, brought on and work on the project. And then they hired me and there's all these crazy talented people. But anyway, enough about that. Um, you guys are probably wondering about my other maps and stuff like that. Shore Leaf, the big one. Uh, I was doing a ton of update videos. We had a ton of work on it. Uh, we got the gameplay nice and solid and it just kind of like fizzled out and I, you guys haven't seen anything. Um, what ended up happening is I, I'm one changelog video behind. I did a bunch of changes right at the end of the gameplay and we got it to beta. Um, beta, you know, you start doing the art pass in the beta stage and you start refining the visuals of it whereas the alpha stage I was doing all the gameplay. But because my time is limited now with uh, the two job thing happening, um, I actually brought someone else on to do an art pass for the project. And this is somebody that I have been trying to work with for years and years. And uh, she is my personal favorite mapper. Uh, <laughs> um, she does like some of the, the craziest visuals and the fact that uh, she's doing my art pass is really exciting. But it is uh, Freya, the creator of Suijin. Um She has some of the coolest stuff planned for Shore Leave. Um, but the only problem is she did have some medical issues that came up. Uh, if you follow TF2 Maps real close, you've probably read about them. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, but, you know, it sounds like it's going to be positive. Everything's working out, and it's just going to take some time. And she's very excited to work on the map, and that's, like, the first thing she wants to do when she gets back, <laughs> back moving and, you know, uh, working on projects. So I'm very, very excited about that, and I can't wait to see it, and I can't wait to show you it, because the little bit that she got... To work on was mind-blowing to me already it was like nothing I would ever imagine and it's gonna be so cool so <laughs> I'm really excited about that um, glassworks actually I have some a little bit of an update on glassworks I passed that one off as well um, which if you guys have been following me for a long time you know that map is my baby uh, <laughs> I worked so long on that map it's awesome time in UGC um, and you know it has some issues it has some things it needed to work on and there's one person out there that I trust with 5CP um, to work on it that I believe would know how to fix it, and that is Phi, who is the creator of Sunshine. Um, so I passed it off to her. She's been poking around it a little bit. She's got some ideas for some changes she wants to make, and we can potentially see an updated version for that um, sometime in the not-too-distant future uh, when she gets some more time to, to work on it as well. Uh, but I know you guys are thinking, you know, what does this mean for this channel and my tutorial series specifically in the future? Um, the tutorial series was something that I had planned for many, many chapters. Um, and I'm kind of now at the point where I feel like um, the amount of time it takes me to do each one um, is just too much. And I'm really sorry that I don't have the time to do them like I used to. Um, but... That said, I do have a few more videos that I want to do. I think I have a good wrapping up point, um, and the tutorial series will end. It'll be probably another video or two. Um, this will be the last chapter. But, 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 before you guys start typing angry comments below telling me, Crash, what the hell, you had told me you were going to do this video when you didn't do this video, you jackass. I'm going to do more tutorials. After the series is done, that will not be my last mapping tutorial. That will be just the end of the series. Um, the way the series is structured is a little bit too rigid for me, and it got to the point where I'm constantly second-guessing. The further we get into it, the more steps that I feel like I need to teach before I can teach the next thing, and I'm like, well, there's all these variables of what you've learned and what you haven't learned, and it's getting harder and harder to write the further into the series I get. So, my tutorial series I kind of have planned on is the introduction to TF2 mapping. It's to get you from not knowing anything to making your first map, doing some iteration, and testing it with actual players. And that's what the last couple videos are going to be covering, is finalizing your map to do testing. But after that, this means that I have more freedom to just say, go in and do a displacement tutorial that you guys have been begging me to do since I started this series. It's like the number one most requested thing is displacements. Um, and I can just do that instead of having to go, well, I want to teach you guys how to do detailing and 
how to do all these different things before I get to displacements, I can just do displacements. Um, so that's probably going to happen in the not too, too distant future. Um, I do not want to promise any kind of timeline because I am, like I said, working ridiculous hours right now. Um, and I also kind of plan on expanding, uh, just doing some general level design theory, uh, not necessarily TF2 specific. I, now that I'm learning, I'm, I'm doing like a single player game and I'm learning all that stuff. I feel like I can branch out and talk about these different things, different, you know, more general broad topics about like lighting theory and flow of level design and like all these things and visual flow and all, all this fun stuff that I could geek out on about for hours but I don't get to do it because I'm such in a strict strict like rigid tutorial series um, so I think it's going to be an exciting thing for the channel and I hope you guys aren't disappointed that I'm stopping the series but I think it'll take this to a good place um, and then obviously I, I'm really enjoying doing my VR videos um, it's a fun new thing that I'm excited about um, hell I suppose I can mention it um, I kind of want to dabble in making my own VR game, perhaps, uh, now that I'm learning Unreal 4. Um, it's so accessible. There are so many tools. I can just, like, basically drag and drop in everything to get it working with VR, and then it's just a matter of setting it up and uh, figuring out, like, the blueprint system enough to do exactly what I want. And it doesn't look bad. It's, like, pretty similar to the input-output system in Hammer, just more advanced with more control. So I'm very excited to get to try that. So there, there might be something coming from that. Don't anticipate it anytime soon. Um, it's just something that I want to try out. And it would be really cool to get in on the ground floor of VR design. It's a really exciting thing that's happening in gaming right now that I'm personally really hyped for. Um, and I don't see it going anyway anytime soon. So I want to do more with it. And I want to help experiment with it. And I want to help them, you know, others experiment with it. So it's something I want to get into. And finally, the last but certainly not least thing that I wanted to announce um, is a very, very huge project that I have been secretively working on about the past five months or so. Um, it's been a huge collaboration of a scale I have never done before in my life, um, working with my partner. And I'm just going to let it kind of speak for itself. Um, so check this out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about all this stuff. But yeah, just check out what's been getting made. <laughs>